Welcome to Pop-Up Camper Pro. I'm your host, Derek Smith, and today we're going to work on lift system maintenance. In this video, we're going to cover how to service the lift system in a Coleman or Fleetwood pop-up camper. Servicing means general maintenance and lubrication. What to grease, where to grease, and when to grease. Following these steps will help keep your pop-up camper in optimal working condition. Now, Coleman and Fleetwood pop-up campers have five main lift system components. The crank assembly, the whiffle tree, cables, the pulleys and lift arms. It's recommended that these systems be maintained once a year for normal camper use. If you use your camper more often, increase your service intervals. The camper that we're going to work on today is a 2002 Fleetwood Taos. It has a direct drive crank assembly. There are three main styles of crank assemblies on Coleman and Fleetwood pop-up campers. Chain-driven systems, direct drive systems, and power lift systems. Now these require no lubrication at the crank assembly. The only exception is the chain-driven systems require lubrication at the chain. Never lubricate the crank assembly. Don't spray anything in it. Don't put grease on it. It has a pressure plate. It's the clutch. Putting grease in this system can saturate the clutch and your lift system won't hold. Today I'll be helping Gary service this camper. Step one, lower the camper completely. Next, remove the Whiffle Tree pan cover. Now take a look at the overall condition of the tree. We will be using Staplex Premium Red Grease to lubricate the Wiffle Tree. It's a premium, high pressure lithium grease that delivers excellent friction, wear, and rust protection. We're going to generously lubricate the entire Wiffle Tree threaded rod. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> Using the same Staplex Red Lithium Grease, we'll lightly grease the length of the cables. This offers anti-rust protection and a smoother operation for the lift system. Like I said, on the cable, it's, for me, it's more rough than that. For the pulleys and guides, we're using 3-in-1 silicone spray lube. 
This product dries fast to minimize attracting dust and dirt and offers rust protection. It's also safe on rubber, vinyl, and plastic. This is gonna be especially important around the lift arms. Next, it's time to clean the Wiffle Tree pan cover. So we're removing all the old grease and any dirt that it had been stuck to it. Now, generously grease the inside of the Wiffle Tree pan cover. You can see the marks where the drawbar rides across this cover. Now reinstall the pan cover. Next, raise the roof. Now it's time to service the lift arms. Each lift arm has up to four pulleys. They're located at the bottom butterfly bracket and at the top of each stage, with the exception of the very top stage. And it's that easy, everybody. This is a job that you can do yourself. You don't have to take it to a shop, pay somebody else to do it. Learn to do this general maintenance yourself to keep your pop-up camper popping up for the long haul. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. Ring the notification bell to be alerted when new content is available. And I will see you at the campground. Whoops, almost forgot. Please check out popupcamperpro.com for our official chalk art merchandise. Send me your camping pictures too. Yours might end up on the chalkboard next.